Welcome back to Rancho Obi-Wan. You know, at the end of a hard day working at the Rancho, this is the place to come, the Star Wars Arcade. There have been pinball games, pachinko games, all kinds of commercial games for Star Wars. But actually, it started small. This is from Italy for the original Star Wars movies, and it's a, a Star Wars bag of tell games. There's even a more modern one that's just come out from Australia, this one with electronics. But from Bagatelles, we go into a lot more sophisticated action. For example, this game. It's a pachinko game from Japan. It came into the pachinko parlors in 19... No, we didn't. <laughs> it came into the pachinko parlors in 2005, along with episode three. It's an amazing game. <laughs> The odds are so with the house on this game. The very first Star Wars arcade game actually was from Australia in 1981. It was this electromechanical pinball game from a company called Hankin. It's got a much wider feel than the modern pinball games. And it still takes a, an Australian, old Australian 20 cent piece to make it work. Come on. Well, you get the idea. It's a very uh, noisy game. Whoops. I got six credits. I don't know what I did. It wasn't until the early 90s that the U.S. started producing pinball games for Star Wars. The first was from Data East. One of the fun things about collecting pinball games and arcade games is trying to find some of the peripheral paper material that goes with it, like this, which is a blueprint of the play field. And you can tell this is fairly close to what the play field finally looked like, but there are some changes. But in laying these things out, Lucasfilm was able to see what it liked, what it wanted changed. This is the blueprint schematic, which shows where the lights are, where all of the moving functions would be. By far the, the best and the most exciting of the pinball games is the episode one game. Unfortunately, it also wrote the end of an era because the company that made this got out of the business. They decided that it was uh, more financially uh, successful to do the gaming machines in Nevada. But the episode one pinball game is a combination of both a video game and a pinball game and it's probably the cleverest and most complex pinball game ever made. This was an exciting find. The next to final art for the game. I've got to get this frame someday. There's always something to do when you have a collection. A lot of Star Wars fans remember this classic, the arcade version of Star Wars from Atari. It used an old style of graphics called vector graphics, but still remains a very exciting game. Hey, keep trying to get Darth Vader's ship, but uh, oops, watch out. Later the same year, the Empire Strikes Back game came out, but it used the same cabinet, and so it's a lot harder to find because the Star Wars game was so popular very few arcades wanted to take out the Star Wars game and put a different motherboard in to play the Empire game. Again, it's a similar kind of a game, a little more advanced, but not much. It's the same time period. This time you're trying to get the Probot instead of the TIE Fighter. We have the Return of the Jedi game. This happens to be an unusual sit-down version, but this uses the more familiar cartoon graphics. A little bit different than we have today. And in this case, you have uh, Endor and Ewoks and Forest, and I'm about to crash into a tree, I'm sure, because I always do it. Well, ah! this is probably my favorite uh, video game. This was the Star Wars Trilogy Arcade, and it takes you through each of the movies and lets you fight with Darth Vader and Boba Fett. Not the easiest thing to do. 
Um, arcade games are not that difficult to find. Sometimes you can find a local distributor who still has some uh, and will sell it to you, or you can go on eBay. Uh, they are higher end items, and the best bet is to try to find someone who has actually sold video or pinball games before, because shipping can be a bit of a hassle, and you want somebody who is ready and able to ship the machines to you in good shape. And then we have the episode one game, which throws me every single time because it's really a fast driving game. You get a lot of choices. I usually pick Anakin. I mean, he is the good guy. I think the first 10 times I played this, I got a little seasick. Well, I'm fourth out of 12, not bad. Third, second, come on, uh, back to fourth. This game allows no mistakes. Oops, like that one. Oh well. If you want just a simple time, without having to spend any money, this is a German slot machine from 1997. So what you're trying to do is match three X-Wing fighters in here. And when that happens, you play the game in this part, and you have to watch out because if you land on stop, Darth Vader says something very nasty to you in German. The newest of the games, unfortunately, is not here. It's a Star Wars slot machine that's in Vegas and in some Indian casinos, but you can't buy it. And in fact, it's only leased to casinos with a share of the revenue, and you need a gaming license. So, you know, maybe 25 or 30 years from now, when it's an antique, you'll be able to pick one of those up. Can you see him?